What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal. This I believe is episode 7. It's Sam here aka 12th console and today is gonna be a banger. So make sure you're ready, get your popcorn and your drinks and I will see you in two seconds. Let's get it. Okay guys, so here we are and today we're gonna make ourselves a mob spawner system which should be super 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 cool. So I'm super excited for that. So uh, yeah, let's get that going. So all we're gonna need to do that guys is, um, oh, I'm looking up, I'm looking that, nope, nope, nope. Nope, not that view. <laughs> so what we're going to need going, guys, is we're going to want to make ourselves a mob masher. And this is the guy that we're going to use to kill the mobs, which would be really, really, really good. Uh, we don't need a mob fan. Um, in fact, no, we do need a mob fan. Um, let me get that back. Mob fan. We're going to need a mob fan. And, and he's guy. this is uh, the thing that's going to push the mobs to the mob masher, which would be great. And then, obviously, they all die, which is brilliant. So that's what we're going to use for that. Um, we've got mob fan upgrades to make them, uh, like, push from a wider distance and longer. Um, and the mob, mob masher, the mob masher, mob masher, <laughs> can be upgraded with looting and sharpness upgrades. So he will be really cool. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to have a little bit of a sleep, and I'm going to craft those items, and we should be good. Um, I'm going to craft them all off camera, because otherwise it will be a little bit of a pain in the bum. But once I've made them, we'll be back, and uh, we'll get made building it, and it should be really good. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. So I just wanted to come back quickly and test this mob fan out and see like, what sort of a range it can uh, it can do things from. So if we go in here and we go show area. Oh, so he does do one, two, three, four, five. So he does do five blocks. So to be fair, all we're going to need is maybe just one of this and just do a, lo a load of width upgrades. I think, um, I don't know how many you can have. Max of three. Okay, so we can make you, so we're going to need three of you. We're going to need three mob fans. And um, he's going to need one, two, three, four, five. So four longer. Okay, cool. So I'm not going to make need to make too many upgrades, which is good. So I'll see you guys once I've made the upgrades, and we'll be back. Thought I'd let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm literally out here, and I've been out here for, for living like, I don't know, half an hour maybe? <laughs> um, and I'm searching for chickens, because we need feathers. Lots of them. Um, and apparently chickens are super rare and elusive to find, because I have not been able to find, like, barely any of them. These are like the, the, some of the few I've actually found. We need 48 feathers. Um, and currently we're looking at 18 here. And I think I've got 12 in my system. So I'm looking at 30. I've got 18 more to find. So um, once I've found them, I'll be creating an episode. Um, I'll be finishing the episode off, which would be nice. And then I can get it uploaded. And hopefully I can get a video uploaded today. I'm really sorry I did miss a video yesterday, guys. Um, I wasn't feeling great yesterday. So I didn't really feel like making a video when I'm not feeling great. Because it wouldn't have been very good anyway. Because I wouldn't have been able to... You know, be lively like I normally am. So yeah. But hopefully get this one done. Just want to give you a little update. And um, I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back everybody. So we're officially ready to get the uh, the thing placed down. What I've done is I've made a little fight like nine by nine room for it to be put down. Um, and I've terraformed it so it's all got dirt on the outside, which is nice. It's got a completely stone wall as well, so nothing should hopefully seep out. And all you want to do basically is you want to put this guy down here. We're going to put him bang in the center so everything gets sort of uh, aimed towards him. I just realized I am going to need some more um, <laughs> more uh, fans, which is fine. So what we're going to want is we're going to want one here. Um, yeah. <laughs> one, well, I'm going to turn you back to dirt as well, so I don't place grass everywhere. Um, yeah, so one fan here. Uh, one fan about here. And then one fan about here-ish. Um, now, he he's going to uh, be a little bit weird. But if we put you all in here and we sort of show area, as you see, he's only going straight. So what we do is we want to put um about, uh, what's you, are you distance? Yeah, so we want to put two more in distance in each one of these. So I made too many of these, but that's fine. Uh, is this a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? This is seven. Okay, uh, it needs to be a little bit bigger. You know what? We're gonna have it seven by seven. I can't be bothered to make it bigger. Seven by seven is fine. <laughs> we're gonna put two of you in here, so two distance upgrades. Uh, which one? That one. There we go. So now he goes right to the end. Perfect. Uh, we actually probably only want him to be honest to one, one near the end like that. Um, yeah, that'll be good. And then what we're gonna want to do also is put some distance in you. So maybe like. Oh look, he does that. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Wait a minute. So if I then, if I then get rid of you, right? Uh, and then I fill you in uh, and put you with stone. Uh, and we do this one and we do the same in you. So we do show error on you and we do distance uh, plus one, right? There you go. So you're now to where I want you to be as well. Brilliant. And then if we do you arrange, you do one on either side. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we only needed two guys. That's wicked. That's actually really, really, really good. Okay. So we need two more fans or one more fan. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go make them and I'll be back in a second. Okay, welcome back guys. So I've got the other fan ready and as you can see these guys now both push into here and they overlap So they both push direct into this block, which means this guy should always kill him uh, He needs a lever to activate by the way uh, and this guy I've done the same with this guy This guy now overlaps uh, these ones at the end uh, So he pushes direct into this block so these guys can push him same with this guy um, I don't know if that's necessary, but I feel like if they're pushed just straight to here I mean we can give it a try actually. Let's let's hide Let's first hide this guy's area, right? And then if we sort of do that um, 
and like, turn him on. So if we get a lever quickly, um, we can sort of test these. Right, we're going to need four levers anyway. So let's get them out anyway. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need five actually because of the actual guy. So if we turn you on, see you push me right to here, which is not 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 what I want. Um, I mean it's good, but it's not what I want. So I want to uh, jump up and turn you off. And then what I want to do is I want to um to sort of turn you to give you one. Oh no, we only put. To be fair, if we put one more in here, one. Oh no, that's width. No, we only need two in there. Uh, if we put another one on distance, right? Um, how, how, how what area would that be? That'd be there. Yeah, okay. And we put one more on distance. Uh, so that'll be three, three in distance, right? So he should go to there, right? So now, if we get pushed by him. Okay, now that's perfect. He doesn't need to overlap. Okay, he does not need to overlap. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so now, if we sort of can get in there and do that. Uh, so close. Come on. <laughs> Turn you off. Good. Um, if we do the same thing. I don't know if I, if I can have these leathers on the inside. I'm probably going to put them on the inside, right? Um, so I guess these guys don't need to be overlap either. Um, but they are, so it doesn't really matter, right? If we, like, turned you on. Yeah, like. You're fine. You push me around to there. That's good. Okay, cool. That's fine. So these are these are fine. This guy is also going to be fine if we take one, two, three, and we do that. Uh, show. Yeah, you'll be fine as well. You'll be good. Okay, cool. So that's fine. So what I want to do now is I'm going to get some some special glass. We're going to make that in a minute. But I'm just going to sort of uh like lever these guys up, right? So what I want to do is go behind you. And I know I'm breaking dirt with the pickaxe. It's fine. And turn you on. Um, and then we're going to go. Uh, if you guys notice, obviously these guys also can't affect uh. Like up high, so we are going to change that. So that's something we're going to change in a second. I'm just going to sort of go in here, put another torch here, activate you, and that will obviously start moving me, which is fine. And then I'm just going to go in here and block that up. And we're going to do the same over here. Uh, go into there and go boom, boom. You're now on. Uh, cool. So we now get shot out of the way, which is fine. And then block that guy up. There we go. So those guys are all on, right? So what we want to do is we want to go over to these guys, and at the moment they can only affect one high, so we want them to do three higher. So, um, and we're going to want that on, on all four of the uh, of, of the thingies. Uh, so, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Fifteen height upgrades, right? I think, something like that. Um, wait, are we sure? Uh, I think. Let's go to the height ones. Uh, so, they do, yeah, plus one. So, we're going to want three, six, nine, twelve. The only thing I have a question being, right, is we can probably save ourselves some... Um, some stuff, some uh, <laughs> some feathers. If we get rid of these guys as well, get rid of these areas, and uh, we don't need these guys to show. If we sort of go into here and we um, uh, remove this guy, okay. Because I'm thinking, what I'm going to do, guys, is if I just sort of block you in quickly, um, and I also get rid of that guy. Um, I'm thinking of putting one in the middle, because um, obviously that will save us a load of a load of uh, feathers, because these take a lot of feathers to make, and uh, that's a pain in the bum. So it will save us a lot of feathers, which is great. Um, and we only need one, right? So one right there in the middle, surely. Um, and we want a one like that, and then we can put this fan down, right? And he is not on, because we turn the fan on. Uh, the, the lever on. Are you on? You going? Show area. You got anything? Are you are you are you pushing or are you or are you not? Uh, you are off. Okay, now you're on. So if I stand here, there you go. Okay, cool. it does work. So show area. Uh, if we do, you can only do one now. Oh, because there's a horse there. That's why. So yeah, item uh, blocks block his thingy, right? So he want we want three more on you. The only thing is, I don't know if that'll push me into there, right? If I turn you on and give you a try, um, and we go onto you, and I just go with a lever, uh, right smack bang there, and we turn that guy on. That guy's now running. right? I want to see if we get hurt. <laughs> no one's ever said that in the in the history of humankind. But we'll see if we get hurt by this guy, right? So if we launch in here, um, and we add two more distance to him, right? No, three more distance here, okay. Um, which one is it? This. Three more. Uh, boom, there we go. Yeah, he pushes us into him, right? But he doesn't hurt us, which is interesting. Uh, are you not on? Show area. Are you not... Did we not put a torch behind you? No, we didn't, okay. Silly me. Right, put a torch there as well, so now you're on. And in theory, if we, like, land anywhere in this block, we should... I mean, we'll see when mobs spawn, right? But we should just... Yeah, we do. Okay, we instantly get hit by him. Okay, that is good. Um, and what about you? You're not on either, I don't think, are you? Yeah, you are on. Okay. Yes, we do get hurt. We do definitely get hurt. Um, even if he pushes us here. So, it does work. It does work. Okay, good. So, we're going to need a bit of distance in this guy, right? So, if we go boom, he now does three, one, two. I feel like... Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Now, we just get instantly hurt. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we are going to need still high upgrades. But we're only going to need one, two, three, four, five, six... 
789, I think. Unless we put him in a corner, then we would only need less, right? So we don't need him where he is. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put him in a corner. Um, so if I get grass, I want to make, make this thing look pretty, right? And um, break you. And then if I sort of break you, um, and just delete that torch and sort of put stone back in the wall. Uh, what's your area again? You, so you need a two, you need two more distances on you. Well, maybe only one more. Um, is that the distance? Yes, it is. So boom, one of you in there. And now you're pushing me directly into this block, which is great. So if I put the mob masher behind this wall, um, do you take up a whole block space? You don't, so you can see what, what's next to you. That sucks. And so, boom, we go underground, uh, and we sort of put a torch, like, um, here. Should be fine, we put that on. Uh, then, no, I oh, we be dead. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, there we go, cool. And we put um, you there, and the mob mash on top of this guy, right? He's on, so if we stand here, yeah, there we go, okay, that does work, beautiful. Now that saves us another load of feathers, so we only need three, six, right? Six, six, uh, six height upgrades. Okay, cool. So I'm going to turn off all these GUIs so it doesn't keep uh, lagging us out. Well, it's not it's not lagging us out yet, but I don't want it to lag us out, right? There we go. So that's now working. Good, good, good. Uh, and if we fly over to our base and we make some more of these height upgrades, I can probably get rid of everything else that's in my inventory as well. I'm not going to need any more of you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Um, I'll keep you. I don't need you there. Uh, so what we need are uh, six of these guys, these height upgrades, right? And they are more feathers, which sucks. How many more feathers do we have? Yeah, because we're going to need 18. 18 feathers to do that. And we only have 9. So we need 9 more. Okay, right. 2 seconds, guys. I'm going to try and gather some feathers again. Oh, that's going to take me hours. Okay, so a little bit of chicken slaughtering later, which is sad. But I need to really breed my chickens. I don't have any left. Um, <laughs> we should be able to do you, right? So we need um, 6 of these, guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Oh, we're out of iron. Okay. Well, that's that's great. Uh, I need some more iron. I'll Give me 2 seconds. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Not too long later. Uh, I just have to go mining, basically. Um, so to get the height things, we need two more of these, right? We should have enough iron now. Beautiful. We do just nice. Okay, so we're going to take these guys back to our base here. The little uh, thingy mob. And we're not done yet. We are going to need more uh, more stuff like item collectors and all that kind of jazz. Um, so um, to get this bit done, if we take away the, the little, uh, you know, uh, stuff. The stuff that shows us how what we're doing. <laughs> the little light levels, that's it. Um, if we go into here and we activate you... Um, I kind of want to get, come on, can I get just, just in this GUI, please, 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 please? Uh, I got it. Uh, and I realise we're probably going to get murdered, no, we're not, we're fine, okay. Height modifier, we want one, two, three in you, and if we do show area, yeah, you're perfect, okay, good. Now, how are we going to get back in here? <laughs> okay. Is there any way to, like, not let these things push me? I don't think there is, is there? Fan, uh... Air effect can be toggled in its GUI. Okay, it pushes mobs in the facing direction. I don't think there is any way of modifying it. Like, if we drop in, we sort of go in here. Oops. Uh, I need to take this out of the drill. Bye-bye. Yeah, I always forget to take them out. I think that, that's quite a common thing for me, right? Uh, so if I if I go into you and... No, I don't want to keep doing the ground, whatever that is, making pathways. Uh, can I get rid of you? Thank you. If we go into the... Um, wherever he is, there we go, and we should go hide area, he is ready, like, he is, he's good to go, he now, um, affects the area we want him to affect, so if I now just fill in the dirt around him again, all the stone, and then the dirt, uh, da -da 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 -da. beautiful, um, and we just sort of fill this area in, look at my terraform, it looks beautiful, right, it works perfectly, uh, it doesn't work here, and this needs fixing, uh, there you go, now it works, nice, okay, so we go over to you, and we do the same with this old fan here, and we go show area, and we put the heights in there, he now does the full thing. Great. Cool. So that means they're going to get spiders, which is amazing. Uh, and what we want is now a vacuum hopper. And this guy will basically let us um, let us suck items and uh, whatever I call it, um, XP up. Because this guy is going to produce XP, right? He will produce normal XP, which is great. So we're going to need a... Um, uh, is there a... No, no, an absorption hopper, right? Oh, absorption hopper. Is this guy? Yep. Brilliant. Uh, vacuums up items and XP orbs in 7x7 area. Can be configured just to push out on any side. Fluids will insert into tanks and items into inventory. Range is, is increased by absorption range radius upgrades. Area of effects can be toggled into GUI. Position can be offset into GUI. Nice. So we're going to want one of them. So they are made like so. So what we need is a hopper, which we have loads of chests, and that's fine. Uh, we need an eye vendor, which we should be able to make fine. Nice. And we need you. Done. So what we're going to want is a, a bit of a, an XP thing. So if we go XP, uh, XP... Uh, obelisk is it called? 
Um, there's no experience. I mean, we could do an experience in it if I solidify it all into experience, but I would kind of prefer um, a thing from Endor, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, is it called Experience Rod? Uh, I mean, Experience Rod goes into it, doesn't it? Yes, I do believe it does. There we go. This guy, Experience Obelisk. There we go. So we want one of these guys, because these guys store a ton of experience, and they're just much cooler to use. So one of you, um, and then we're going to want, obviously, the crate, which we've got, which is fine. So you are made with uh, a little bit of solarium, which is uh, soulstone and ender, soulstone and gold, I mean. Uh, soul sand, sorry, and gold. Um, you are um, redstone, glowstone, and gold, which is fine. Fluid tank we can make. There we go. Um, we're going to want you as well, which is one of you, the old simple ones. And then we're going to want this die stuff. Um, isn't it that guy? Is it that guy, I think? Uh, so can we get our machine frame again? Cool. So we need to smoke you up in a thingy. We're going to need two soul sand. Uh, soul sand. Beautiful. And uh, was it four gold? Gold. One, two, three, four. We're going to want four redstone. Oh, two redstone, sorry. Uh, one, one, two, and two glowstone. There we go. And that'll be good. And that will allow us to, uh, to get all the stuff we need. Just two of you, please. Thank you. <laughs> that allows us to get all the stuff we need. Then we need the experience obelisk, which is another two solarium and, and one thing. I forgot about that one. So we're going to want one more of you, one more redstone. Uh, there we go. Um, uh, one more gold. Uh, three more gold, sorry. Uh, for the actual soul sand as well. And then one more soul sand. Oh, two more. Sorry, two more. Yeah, I'm messing up big time. Right, anyway, so that's fine. So now we just shut these guys in here, right? Um, and we should be good to go. So, boom, and... Oh, you're not finished yet. Um, okay, take you out. Let's get you finished quickly first. I'm going to sort of do this uh, smelting. I'll be back in two seconds, guys, all right? Okay, so a little bit of smelting later. We should be good to go. If we now go into the uh, the old inventory system, we should be able to make this guy. Uh, so if we do you, experience rod, beautiful. We should just be able to go straight and do that, right? Uh, we're missing... What is it? The, um... The soul machine? Oh, it's soul machine. It wasn't a normal one. Oh, okay. It was a soul attuned die blend. Right, okay. So, you are made with you. Do we have everything? No. What are we missing? I hate the, all these stupid little recipes in Ender. They're so annoying. Uh, we need um, organic brown dye, right? How's organic brown dye made? Okay. This is this is where we go into a big loop of rubbishness. We need 12 twigs and prunings and a piece of slime. Okay, that's not probably not too bad, right? 12 twigs. Okay, twigs and prunings. We need more of these. And a slime, right? So, slime is fine. We have that. We do. Beautiful. Uh, we need more of these guys. So, what? how are you made? Uh, dead bush or a shrub. Is it only a shrub? No, it is grass as well. We can use grass, uh, but the best thing is dead bushes. How do we make you? We dry saplings. Um, or a dehydrator. Um, I would rather just, um, just, uh, put it to chance and do grass, right? Or maybe I can make you. Maybe I can make you. I mean, you might be useful for selling cows, right? Let's give it a try. So, if we put you down and we chuck some saplings in you, um, how many of the thingies do we need? How many, how many, like, stuff does this come from? Uh, one dead sapling makes you 60% chance of one, or one dead bush. Uh, so let's just make, like, let's do, like, 32. But can we do them bundles at once? I'm not even sure if we can do that, right? Sapling. Sapling, sapling, sapling. Uh, we need you. Okay, if we put you into this guy, right, we should be able to make... Do you do stacks at a time? Uh, yes, you do do stacks at a time. And you need power. Oh, okay. That's very annoying. Okay, we'll put you downstairs then. Um, because we have a power thing down there, right? And you should make me some dead bushes. So if we go over to our little power system here and we chuck this guy... Where is he? You. Right back smack bang like here. Just, just because why not? Okay, he's just making sticks currently. Well, that's stupid. Uh, that's not what I want. How do we make dead bushes then? Or shrubs? Uh, shrubs? Oh, they're... O oh, okay. They're only found. Right, okay. <laughs> you... Uh, get rid of you then. How do we make twigs? Twigs and prunings is what we're trying to make, right? So you are shrubs, um, or dead bush. Dead bush is drying leaves or putting ferns in a thing. Well, that's stupid. I'm not doing that recipe. Oh, wait, actually, what else was it? There was another recipe, right? Uh, if we go dead bush, uh, any type of sapling. Is it any, only bombs of plenty saplings? I feel like that's any type of sapling, right? I feel like that's what it's trying to tell me. We'll make a dead bush. Yeah, it is any type of sapling, definitely. Okay, cool. So we can get rid of you. I can put you away. I don't need you anymore, you stupid little thing. Uh, and you can go into here. And maybe you're dry. Uh, oh my god, you're full. You're really full. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we will uh, we'll make a squeezer. Another squeezer. 
Or I could just put grass in it. Like, I think that's probably somewhat easier. If we go bones, how many bones do we have? Yeah, we have loads of bones. Okay, I'm just going to chuck all these bones. I know it's a bit risky doing all of them. Maybe we'll do, like, that many. And just chuck them in my sag mill. Do we get more doing the other way? I don't really know. What do we get from a sag mill? Uh, six and two. Oh, yeah, no, that's... They're, yeah, they're going in the sag mill. Okay. <laughs> Put you in there. Um, I can just chuck you back in the inventory thing, right? And so, same as you, same as you, same as you, same as you. Uh, yeah, go away, go away, go away. Um, so, um, if we take all of this... Oh my god, that's so much bone. Oh, I didn't mean to make that much. And we get some shears. Um, we're just going to gather a bunch of grass, right? Uh, so, I'm going to gather this all off camera, and I'll get back in two seconds, guys. So, I didn't show you guys, but that was an extra step to uh, getting this stuff. You have to get soul powder, which is just um, pulverized soul, uh, soul solarium. That's the one. So, we have got it now. So, I didn't need one of this, right? Uh, you can go uh, you can go in there. Uh, and then I need another one of those simple machine chassis, which is kind of a pain in the bum. Uh, but there we go. Uh, and then I'm going to get these guys done, and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so we should be good to go now, right? So, if we do this, and we go... What are you sorting by as well? Uh, sort direction by amount. Awesome. That looks cool. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> if I get rid of you and get rid of you, we get rid of you. We should be good to go like this, right? What do we need? Oh, we need the Solarium again. Okay, cool. Right, so Soul. We'll do this here. Soul Sand, because I used that to make the thing. I was wondering why there was some spare in my inventory. Uh, in the in the system, more like. Uh, if we put you in there, we go boom, boom. You should be done pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, not too bad. Um, and then, um, once it's done that, we should be good to build it, right? There we go. Nice. Okay, so, go back over to here. Go over to here. Go over to here. And go to you. And there we go. There's our experience hopper, which is beautiful. So, that guy is done. We have the absorption hopper, which is also amazing. What I want to make now is I want to make dark glass. Um, dark glass basically makes it so light can't go through, but we can travel through. I'm pretty sure... Um, or was it in? I think it's effable. Like, it's this guy, dark ineffable glass. I think that's the stuff we can walk through, right? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think dark glass we can actually walk through. Um, but um, I know that one you can. Yeah, I don't think we can this one. But what we need is a bunch of ink sacks and a bunch of thickened glass. Thickened glass is just sandy glass mowed up, which is just glass and and sand. Um, we don't have either of it apparently. Oh yeah, because we're not looking at the inventory system. <laughs> um, so how much we need? We, we it's a nine block by four. Um, is it four high or is it three high? I think it's three high, so we're going to need 27 of it, right? Um, so 27 of that, which means we need... Um, God, my, what is wrong with my math today? 27, uh, 14, so 14, 14 crafts. We are going to need double of this, right? So we are going to need 28 of this, uh, which means we're going to need, like, six crafts of that. Oh, seven crafts of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be fine. 28 of that should be good. So if we smelt that up, that'll make us the glass. Then we just need ink sacks, which I don't think I have currently. Uh, so if I put you in there, you should be good to go. I don't think I have that many ink sacks. Um, ink sacks. Yeah, no, we don't. I'm going to go and get some ink sacks, and I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so welcome back. So we need 27 of this, right? So if we sort of just... Uh, yeah, we got enough. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, it worked out good. Okay, cool. So if we take this stuff and we go over to our system, we should be able to automate this guy pretty easily. So if we get our little glider up and fly, it'd be nice. Cool. So if I do this, this will basically make it like pitch black in here, which would be good. Um, so it basically makes it so it is as dark as can be in there. We're going to remove you, which I don't know if I can do with... Uh, I can. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of a hole so I can see in, so I can uh, put the little cursed earth there when I want to. But, I believe this guy should be automated. The only thing being is I think we may, um, I don't know if this guy can go through blocks, right? And that's the only question I have. So if I put you here for the moment, uh, and we go to the, uh, up way, I'm gonna put items, it's fine, yeah, that's fine, go in there. Uh, cool. And then down is gonna be, in fact, no, items I don't want going there. Forget that, I don't want that going there. That'll, 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 that'll look dumb. Uh, we're gonna put you down here. <laughs> and we're gonna go, um, uh, although the only thing is spiders are gonna be like that, so we probably should want one pushing down, right? Hmm, that's got me thinking. Maybe we're going to want a fan there pushing down. I'm not sure. That might be a thing we need, right? Because obviously, otherwise spiders are just going to collect there. They're just going to infinitely connect there. Okay, I think we're going to want another fan there, but I'm going to do it off camera. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Uh, what's that way? That is uh, south. So I'm going to want south to be items. Nice. And we'll put a little bit of you there. We are going to automate this with a draw system, but that's fine for the moment. And then we're going to go... Um, so... That way is north, obviously. Um, so north, we're going to want uh, fluid. Uh, cool. And he should ex export the experience, right? So if we go onto you and we put on you and we go the GUI, uh, you're going to be on pull. Nice. And that should pull experience from there. So what I'm going to want is I'm going to want another fan, right? We might even see if this starts working because mobs might even spawn in there. Which I think they probably will. Uh, if we get another fan, 
uh, F A N, of course. Um, and I, oh, we already have a fan block. Okay, so that should be fine. I think all we need to do is put one one right on top of that guy, um, and that should be fine because he should. Um, will we get the top. We don't. We don't. What? We don't even get the, the glass back, even if we got silk touch in. That's that's really stupid. Oh no, we did. Okay, okay, we did. <laughs> Right, so if we go onto you and I do shift click, will it go face down? No, it faces up. Okay. If I go you, will it face down? No, it faces up. Okay. If I go onto you, ah, yes, I can place it there. I'll break you again. Thank you. Uh, so that guy will point down now. Um, and if we, if we get a lever, I'm going to need to make this look a little bit nicer, but it's fine. If it works, that doesn't matter. And we put you there. Um, you, right, should show area. Yeah, you should push infinitely down to here. So I think now mob should be fine. So if we if we just fill this in sort of and make this look a bit nicer quickly. Uh, we go into dirt, it's fine. Boom, and we put this dark glass down. We only got one from you. Huh. Maybe I am losing blocks. Yeah, I'm, I, it definitely doesn't give me them back. Okay, we need more dark glass. Oh, this thing's so annoying. So armed with one piece of dark glass, this thing should be ready, right? So if we drop the drop of evil in here, boom. That should now all convert. And then if we close this off, this thing should start spawning, right? Are we on? We're on peaceful. Okay, if we turn into normal, this should start spawning. And it looks like things are, are, being, are being killed, which is which is great. And we are we are collecting the items currently, but he is collecting it. If we move away, he collects it, right? Are you collecting spirits? Oh my god, you are! Yes! Look at this, guys! This is it! System is automated, right? There's a pipe pipe in there. I've got a pipe pipe in there. We're getting so much stuff. The only thing is, I'm, I'm just curious to keep watching and see if spiders, spiders let's stay up there. I don't think they will, because that fan should blow them down, right? And they are too wide, so they should get stuck up there and then blow down. I think this system is ready. I think we're good. Um, if we put, we didn't put any upgrades in the mob basher, which is always nice. So if we quickly turn this to peaceful, be a little bit cheaty and turn this to peaceful, right? And break the absorption opera. Opera? Wow, I didn't just say that. Um, and we go down into you. We should be able to go into you, right, and chuck these upgrades in it. I mean, the, the, the sharpness upgrade isn't necessary, right? But the um, the thingy network, the thingy network, the um, the uh, looting obviously is like he's super useful, right? So if we put you there um, and then put the absorption hopper back, boom, and we go south liquids north uh, or south items uh, north liquids, uh, yeah, beautiful. That guy should go automatically now. If we go back to normal, boom. I realise mob sounds might be a little bit loud. If we go mob sounds uh, to like eight. This should be going, right? I think that should be good. Um, if we just sort of sit here a minute, we should see... Yeah, look, a lot more mobs getting hurt. Nice. And we've got loads of experience coming, which is great. And uh, we've got you and all of you and all of this stuff, which I don't really want any to collect any of this. If I turn off my magnet... Uh, boom. There you go. There you go. We should be good now, right? Beautiful. And this guy should just be... Look at this. It's like... Oh, then we got the dark horse. The, the absorption mob picked up the dark glass. Of course it did. <laughs> we now got that back. We are still collecting items. Are you off? You're off now. There you go. You are still on. Okay. So, you're collecting loads of items. We've got loads of these bags, which is good. We've got French horn, string, all of this good stuff. So, he is collecting a load of uh, a load of items, which is good. And we've got loads of Slither experience, which is nice. Curse of the Binding. Awesome. Silverfish Trophy. That's pretty cool. I will kind of... That's kind of cool. There you go. <laughs> nice. Um, and we should have uh, a ton of experience in you. Look at that. 17 levels already. And then we've got all of these in here as well. This guy is working really really well the only question i have did i put um did i um did i fully fill him up with with stuff with looting uh no he's only got eight looting you know maximum 10 so we can put more looting in him which is good so i will probably do that um because the more obviously the more looting the better right but i think this is good i think we're gonna call it an episode here guys i think we've done some good stuff and um yeah i just think we've i think we've done well really why aren't you placing am i out of inventory no i, I have stolen it uh there you go. That was weird. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go, guys. I think we've done well today. So if you have enjoyed the episode, do hit the like button, subscribe. It means a ton to me. It does help out, obviously, a load. Um, but yeah, we've got this system done. So uh, XP is fine, which means we can upgrade our armor, which is great. Um, items sorted. Look at this. We have like unlimited everything items that we would ever want. We, we I think we can get Ender from this. It is high enough, so we should be able to get Enderman from here. Um, but yeah, pretty good. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have. Do hit the like button, subscribe, it means a ton. Also, guys, link down below is the Discord group. If you want to join that for some uh, off-topic chats and chats about Minecraft and all that kind of good stuff, and a place where you can promote your videos if you are a YouTube creator, jump down in there. It's really awesome, guys. But other than that, 
I will see you next time. Thank you so much for your support, guys, and have a good one. Peace out. Make sure you hit the bell, guys, just to quickly say, because um, I upload and stream daily. Other than that, see you guys later. Thank you very much.